Hey everyone, Gene here with Mahalo.com. There are all sorts of layer types inside Photoshop. With a layer panel, you'll be able to add, delete, and arrange all the different layers in your image. So let's start by bringing up the Layers panel. Now we can do this either by selecting the Layers tab, or by going to the Window menu and making sure that Layers is checked off. A couple of different areas in the Layer menu. First is the Transfer Modes drop-down menu. This will allow you to change how the layer affects all the layers beneath it. So if we select this text layer here, Fill versus Opacity, and we go up to the Transfer Modes, uh, let's just say we'll select Color Burn. Now it's going to completely disappear in this white space up here, but we drag it down here, we can see it'll appear in the mountains. It affects all of the colors in a different way. That's pretty much the way with all these transfer modes. Until you get used to them, you're basically just going to have to go through and click on each one individually until you get what you're looking for. So that's the transfer mode section. The next section is the lock panel, and what this is going to allow us to do is to lock different options within each layer. This one will lock position. This one locks the overall layer, everything about it. Uh, with this, we can lock the image pixels. And with this one, we can lock the transparent pixels. This sounds a little complex, but the, the long and the short of it is that you're going to lock something if you don't want to change it accidentally later on while you're working. For instance, we lock the layer right now, and I'll click on the eraser tool. And you'll notice that we can't use the eraser tool because the layer is locked. So if you have something that you know that's the way that you want it, go ahead and lock that layer and you won't accidentally change it. Let's talk briefly about fill versus opacity. What these are both referring to is the transparency of the layer. So to give you an idea of what we're talking about, the difference between fill and opacity is this. Opacity is the overall transparency of the layer, which includes any layer styles that you've applied. Whereas fill only controls the contents of the layer, not any of the layer styles. So you can see right here on this text layer, fill versus opacity, we have a couple of effects applied. We have a color overlay and a stroke. And this is what our text layer looks like without any of the effects. So we'll go ahead and pop them back on. Now I'm going to adjust the fill option, which as you remember, only controls the contents of the layer, not the layer styles. So if I drop this all the way down to zero, nothing's going to happen because our color overlay and our stroke are still showing. On the other hand, if I bring that fill all the way back up, drop the overall opacity of the layer, including the layer styles, now you're going to see that the text is going to start to fade out. One of the interesting things that we can do with this is if we have a layer, uh, for instance, with no color overlay, let's just shut off the color overlay real briefly, um, I'm going to drop the fill opacity to zero, and you'll see we get an outline because we're still showing the stroke effects, just not the layer itself. So this is an interesting way where you can set up uh, different masking and different shapes without actually showing the mask that you built or the shape itself. You can sort of get an outline. Uh, there are many other effects that will use this. All right, so down the bottom of the Layers panel, these are all of our options for adding a new layer. The effects icon will add a layer style. Uh, this sort of square with a circle in it will add a layer mask. The next one over creates a new filler adjustment layer. Uh, here we can create a new group. So let's go ahead and do that. Create a new group, and we can drag any of these layers into that group. And that's just an easy way for us to control all of those things as though they're one. Here you can see we can set the opacity down to 50 if we want, or anything in between really. Uh, we can move this group around in our layer, and it'll move all of the contents of the group above or below all of the other layers that we take the folder above or below. The next icon to the right of the folder is the new layer icon. Click that and it'll make a, a blank new layer for you to work with. And then of course we have the delete icon. Let's talk about this guy right here, the little chain link. What that's going to do is allow us to link two layers together without using a group. So for example, if we wanted to link these two layers together, uh, just click on the link icon. Now we can move both of those layers together in the image, but they're going to maintain their position in the layer hierarchy. Any layer that appears on top of another layer is going to cover all of the contents of that layer. So if you want your fill versus opacity text to show up, make sure that it's not on the bottom of your composition, because then all of the other layers will cover over it. That's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions you have to requests at mahalo.com.
Thanks for watching.